Hello Bearded Trio fans and welcome to this uh, little uh, this little video, short video, where I take a look at some Star Wars stuff and in particular this hefty book called Industrial Light and Magic Presents Making Solo a Star Wars Story. Now this is by Rob Bredo or Bredo, is that how you put it? Yes, of course it is, it's Rob Bredo and he is the guy at the top of industrial light and magic so if anybody knows anything about the behind the scenes process on making a star wars film it's got to be this guy in fact he was um he was nominated for an academy award uh, in 2019 for best achievement in visual effects for solo this actual film so i thought i'd take a quick look i'm not going to go through every page caught because um, there's 256 pages, so it's a hefty book. There's 300 colour illustrations in the book. Um, but I thought I'd take a very brief look, um, skim through some of the pages and see what you get for your money. Because um, the recommended retail price in, the Ameri in America is $50. In the UK, it's £35. Um, but there's a lot of book for your money. It, there's a lot there. So let's have a quick look and see what you get. Now, if you're familiar with the, um, the making of... Star Wars books and you know making of Empire Return of the Jedi Star Wars and all those this will sit very nicely alongside those books the quality is the same it's it's equally as good in my opinion the forward is by the director is by Ron Howard so I mean there's a lot of love there's that has gone into this book and if you're not a fan of Solo because I do know that some of you uh, didn't like the film. I did. I, I actually enjoyed it. It's two hours of Star Wars. What's not like? What's not to like? But if you're not a fan of Solo, I still recommend that you get this and put it in your collection because it it you can tell there was made with a lot of love. There's a lot of exclusive photographs that you wouldn't have seen on the internet, and it still gives you a, a real good insight into how a Star Wars film is made and brought to the to the big screen and ultimately for you to view on your on the small screen as well so let's just take a very quick look i mean you straight away you know you're you're, you're presented with this amazing rig with the vulcan the millennium vulcan cockpit right there and this rig all around it i'm assuming so that that allows it to move to shimmy around you know to get those you know the the bumping and the moving around and look how much work goes into that I mean, that's incredible let's be honest we'd all love that wouldn't we imagine being able to go in that <laughs> but uh, let's quickly move on there we go there's a very moody shot which reminds me of, of raiders of the lost ark digging in the wrong place um here we go let's have a quick look at some of the scenes and there's the director himself forward by ron howard which i'm not going to read because that would be a spoiler wouldn't it let's be honest but um and it, you know he's wearing a lucasfilm cap there that's pretty cool uh introduction by the author rob bredo as i explained he's the guy from industrial light and magic and you if we have a quick look at the um i just want to have a quick look at the the contents now it's uh, you get the forward, you get the introduction, and you get a brief uh, uh, description on the journey of making this film. Then you get it split into three: pre-production, production, and post-production. Um, so it's it's a it's a logical book to read. You can just pick it up and read a few pages. There's a lot of photographs. They do go into in you know into detail in on some of the scenes are shot a lot of detail. But you never feel overwhelmed by it. You, it's a it's a classic coffee table book where you can just pick it up for a few pages, read it, put it back down, and carry on at your pleasure. And you can see probably some of the scouting for uh, locations. Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot, isn't there? There's a lot to it. I mean, this it's it's inc incredibly detailed. You know. Um, this is uh, this is one of the power stations they use, which is look. I mean, look at all these buttons. Classic retro Star Wars, isn't it? And if I just read the description on, on this one, and it says, this is the actual control room for the power plant that served as one of the major inspirations for the droid control room on Kessel. 
I probably took hundreds of pictures in this room of every switch and dial. There's something about the analog design of rooms from this era that is really inspiring. And I have to agree, I mean, that, that is classic Star Wars. You can imagine all those lights lit up and, you know, flashing at you. What's that flashing? I don't know, kid. Sorry for the, uh, sorry for the bad impressions. I do apologize. I won't do them anymore. That's a lie. Uh, classic shots, look. But yeah, there's 300 and, 56 pages is that right no 256 pages and over 300 illustrations i mean if you love the speeder chase in the film this will take you through that step by step and you're probably noticing a lot of lot of practical effects being used in this film i mean we have gone back to that now haven't we that the practical effects have been used and look there's that rig we saw right at the beginning and uh, with the wraparound scenery so they actually get to see they do actually get rather than just you know you know the green screen they do they do actually get to see it which is pretty neat that's pretty cool so there we go uh, just a brief look at this wonderful book it should if you're a star wars fan if you're a movie fan then i certainly recommend this book um, it should be there alongside your other making of books um, and as I said it's not full of just reused um, photographs that you see on the internet especially if you're a big fan of Star Wars you you know most of the behind the scenes photos there are photographs in here that you wouldn't have that you you won't have seen this will be the first time that you've seen them so it's a great book to have as I say, recommended retail price in the US is $50. In the UK, it's £35. It's out on April the 16th, and uh, it's highly recommended. Thanks for watching. Until next time, may the force be with you all.